all for coming for a, a, one, a wonderful evening. And I love seeing some of the old faces. The UMass Medical School is probably the most important thing that ever happened to the city of Worcester. There isn't a one of us that would like to be here this evening. There isn't a one of us that wants to have to face a very difficult and challenging disease. There isn't a one of us that wants to think that our nation or each other can't put dollars to research so that we could actually find a cure for diseases like ALS. There isn't a one of us that ever would want to walk into a doctor's office and be told that they have ALS. And frankly, there isn't a one of us who knows who will be next. It's a great privilege now for me um, to present the Chancellor's Medal, which is the highest award a Chancellor uh, gives. And uh, it's a great privilege for me now to give that to Paul. You continue to show uncommon determination as you call for increased attention to this vexing disease and highlight the extraordinary caliber of research being conducted at UMass Worcester, all the while bringing focus to the tremendous promise that this research holds for patients. With deep gratitude for all your years of selfless, selfless service, and in recognition of your political acumen, professional skills, and personable manner that you've exercised to such great effect, we recognize and honor you with this Chancellor's Medal. I can't tell you how proud I am uh, to be supporting the UMass Medical School and my doctor, Dr. Brown's, research here. I believe uh, that we will continue to see major advances and major breakthroughs. If we can unlock the mysteries of these neurological diseases like ALS, MS, Huntington's, Alzheimer's, boy, we're going to help a lot of people. I find it, after years of taking care of ALS, quite remarkable that a disease that so fully debilitates people melts away the muscle. In fact, illustrates some of the best examples of strength and courage one can ever hope to see. And I think it is completely true that that is the case uh, with uh, uh, Governor Salucci. As I go across the state and have over the last six years, you know, the relationships that Paul Salucci built at the local level, uh, people who said, regardless of party of affiliation, you could talk to him, you could work with him. He followed through on any mission or job or task that he took, took, took. And he is doing that uh, here as we speak on behalf of, of ALS. And, uh, you know, you talk about a, a footprint. He's got a footprint in Hudson. He's got a footprint in central Massachusetts. He's got a footprint in the Commonwealth. He's got a footprint in North America and Canada, a global footprint, being the ambassador for our, one of our greatest allies and biggest trading partners. But his footprint will have a worldwide impact here with the research that will take place with, with Dr. Brown and, and, and UMass Medical School.